On September 25, 2024, China's Ministry of National Defense made a noteworthy announcement. The People's Liberation Army Rocket Force, PLARF, had successfully conducted an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, test launch. This launch, which involved a Dongfeng 31AG, DF-31AG missile, was particularly significant for its location and target area. The missile was fired from Hainan Island and traveled approximately 11,700 kilometers before landing in the South Pacific Ocean, marking the first such test to target this area in over four decades. The last time China launched a missile into the South Pacific was in 1980, involving the older DF-5 missile. The choice of Hainan Island as the launch site raised many eyebrows within military and geopolitical circles. Typically, Chinese ICBM tests are conducted from more established facilities, such as the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. Hainan, located in southern China, has no permanent ICBM brigade and is not commonly used for such tests, indicating the use of a mobile launcher for the DF-31AG. Mobile launch systems provide greater flexibility and are less susceptible to preemptive strikes due to their ability to relocate. This test launch is being interpreted as part of China's annual training plan but carries broader implications. It reflects China's growing military modernization, particularly in nuclear deterrence, and demonstrates the continued development of its strategic missile capabilities. With tensions escalating in various global theaters, China's nuclear posture is coming under increasing scrutiny, and the Hainan test suggests that China is working to ensure it has reliable second strike capabilities. The DF-31AG is an upgraded version of the DF-31, China's first solid-fuel ICBM. Introduced in 2017, the DF-31AG offers enhanced mobility and efficiency compared to its predecessors. It is mounted on an eight-axle mobile transporter, which improves its operational reach and makes it less reliant on extensive logistical support, enhancing its survivability. The original DF-31, which was first publicly displayed in 1999 during China's National Day Parade, is a solid-fuel three-stage missile capable of delivering nuclear payloads across great distances. With a range estimated between 8,000 and 11,700 kilometers, the missile can target a wide range of locations, including much of the continental United States, offering China a credible second-strike nuclear capability. This long-range capability is vital in deterring adversaries from attempting a first strike, knowing that a retaliatory response is possible. The DF-31 is equipped with advanced guidance systems, combining inertial navigation with stellar and GPS updates to enhance its accuracy. It is believed that the DF-31 can carry either a single 1-megaton nuclear warhead or multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, allowing it to deliver multiple warheads across different targets with impressive precision. One of the significant features of the DF-31AG is its cold launch system which ejects the missile from its canister using compressed gas before the engine ignites. This method makes it harder to pinpoint the exact launch site, as there are no burn marks or other visual indicators left on the ground. This capability reinforces the missile's tactical advantages, particularly in scenarios where China seeks to keep its strategic assets mobile and elusive. The choice to launch the DF-31AG from Hainan may serve multiple purposes. First, it allows for a full-range test without risk to populated areas or overflight of other countries, avoiding international tensions. Secondly, it demonstrates the mobility and flexibility of China's ICBM brigades, which can deploy across different locations. Reports suggest that the missile may have been transported from the Xiaoyang Brigade, located about 800 kilometers from Hainan, to the island by a combination of rail, sea, and road transport. This missile test is likely aimed at signaling China's growing readiness to project power and maintain a credible nuclear deterrent. Conducting a test in the South Pacific after a 40-year hiatus also underscores China's willingness to exercise its missile capabilities over greater distances, potentially testing the waters for future ICBM tests outside its traditional boundaries. Furthermore, the test may help to restore the PLARF's credibility following internal scandals, including corruption and leadership changes. By framing the launch as part of a routine military drill rather than a research-oriented test, China reinforces its narrative of military readiness, while also signaling to global powers its status as a formidable nuclear power. Notably, the Pentagon confirmed it had received prior notice of the launch. This suggests a possible shift in China's approach to transparency and risk reduction, a move that could improve stability by reducing the risk of misunderstandings or unintended escalation. While the test may have been a routine part of China's military exercises, its broader significance should not be overlooked. 
This event demonstrates the continued evolution of China's strategic capabilities, particularly its mobile missile forces. As the PLARF expands and modernizes, the strategic dynamics in the region, and globally, are likely to shift. The international community will be watching closely to see if China continues to test its ICBMs beyond its borders and whether it maintains the practice of notifying other countries of its tests in advance. In any case, the successful DF-31 AG launch from Hainan Island serves as a reminder of China's advancing military capabilities and its growing role as a global power.